So the final thing, and I wanted to do this uh, quickly, is we've been talking about the InSight mission to Mars um, for, well, since it landed uh, about a year and uh, a quarter ago. Um, so the two main instruments on board InSight, there's a seismometer uh, to look for Mars quakes and internal uh, shock waves, and there's a, a, a heat flow probe, essentially, a, thermometer that is supposed to dig itself down about uh, five meters or you know, 16, 17 feet below the surface and measure how much heat is coming out of the interior of the planet. So that gives you an idea of if it's got a molten core, how hot the, the inside of the planet is, and then the seismometer looks for activity either from earth, Mars quakes, sorry, I almost said earthquakes, or meteoroid impacts um, that could uh, even cause landslides. So uh, back in February of last year when they started deploying the, uh, the temperature probe, this acts like a little pile driver. It's sort of this, about the size of an oversized turkey baster and it's got a little weight that goes back and forth and slowly pounds itself into the surface. It got down about 20 centimeters, 20 to 30 centimeters, and it stopped, and it wouldn't go any farther. And so they've uh, been spending a lot of time trying to understand this. The thinking is that the, uh, the surface that they're digging through is very loose, and so it doesn't provide enough uh, friction on the sides of the, of the probe to keep it in the surface. So instead, it, uh, it starts backing itself out or just bouncing back and forth. And so here's the probe itself. There's the data cable and the power cable uh, that go into it. And so what they started trying to do is use the, uh, the sample scoop on the robot arm on board the lander to push down on the surface and hopefully compress it and give it a little more friction. And so back, uh, uh, this was in, in about uh, August of last year, they got to where they were happy and started pounding again, and indeed it started descending into the surface. And then, uh, unfortunately, the next step when they tried to continue is it backed itself out of the surface. And, uh, they're still sort of scratching their heads about how this can happen, but the, the decision was, well, let's see, this is just a, sort of a before. You can barely see the, uh, the top of the temperature probe. It's sort of level with the surface. And then, uh, you know, 10 days later, it's, it's backed out uh, about two thirds of the way. Um, and so what the decision was is, okay, and in addition to pushing on the surface with this scoop, and the scoop is about yay big, they would push and then they call it pinning the probe where they push sideways to, uh, to try and give it a, a little more uh, grab. And so here we were in, uh, in uh, November. So this was right around the time of our last meeting, and you can see they actually started uh, descending into the surface again. And then in the middle of uh, December, they continued, and it was going the way that they expected it to. And in uh, right before Christmas, it continued, and they took Christmas off and came back uh, just about 10 days ago, and here we go again. <laughs> it's backing itself out. So uh, the head scratching continues, but uh, there are sort of two options now. One is to move the scoop to the other side and sort of push this way, sort of out of the screen. And then the one that they're most reluctant to do is you put the scoop right on top of the probe and try pushing down. And the danger of that is this cable. 
if they slip or they nick the cable, it's game over. And so they're, they're being very, very slow and deliberate uh, on what they do. But right now, as of today, this is the most recent image. And they've actually pulled the arm back and uh, they haven't told anybody, at least that isn't part of the team, uh, what the plan is right now. So by next month, I expect something will have changed here. Um, and so we'll, we'll keep updating you. But uh, they're obviously going to do uh, one of those two, uh, two paths, and they're preparing to, to do that. So the interesting thing, if you look here, this, this is the uh, sort of pit that the, the probe has dug just by sort of bouncing back and forth.